Yo, I just put my headphones on and they were cold as f Let me play this. Yo, what's good? Welcome back to the channel. It's your boy Casey, and I am back for a brand new video. All right, so on my last video, somebody asked me to do a tutorial on the Chief Keef type beat, and yo, we are. All right, so today I'm gonna show you guys how I made the Chief Keef type beat. So I made it before, and because if I did it on video, it just would have taken long. Let me just show you how long it took me to make this. Two hours and forty-seven minutes. Keep in mind, most of that was because of the mixing and mastering, just to get it to sound good. It's probably worth saying, you know. But I don't really listen to Chief Keef. But this challenge has led me onto a new path, and I've grown to enjoy his music. So to get myself prepared for this challenge, I had to play some Chief Keef music to hear what it sound is like. And then I realized it sounds similar to what I used to make when I started out beat making or music producing. And now when I say that, I'm talking like two or three years into my music career. So I started music producing in 2016. In um, say April 2016 was when I started music producing. Yeah, and like two or three years into my music career is when i was making music like this i feel like that's when it was popular like this kind of music all right so instead of it being a challenge for me it just became a walk in the park <laughs> all right anyway so this is the chief gift ip that i made so the first thing that you would want to do is select the bp in between 125 beats per minute or you can even go as low as 120 i would recommend 125 to 140 you can even go as far as 145 but yeah it depends on you really it's really no limit just it's really up to you that's your tempo that's my tempo i chose 100 130 beats per minute for my tempo and first thing you want to do is get your strings bruh ah that's stupid get your strings so the strings that i have here i got from nexus right there so the strings and i got this from a pack that i downloaded years ago i have no idea where i got it from yeah so just find some strings and then you can use the effects to get it to sound the way that i've made it sound i'm gonna play it for you right now so you can hear what it sounds like all right that is the strings now i'm going to play it without the effects on there those are the effects that i have on it by the way So when you are making the beat like this, your aim should be an anthem, you know? Like something that, that like you and your crew, like you and your friends can march to, like you can go mad on it, you know? It should be your anthem, you know? But that was my mindset when I was making this beat. It should be an anthem. There are some effects here, like plug-in effects. <laughs> it's on the strings, but it's the reverb right there. All right, now let me show you what I did here. So I've got an EQ on it. This is with the EQ on. This is without the EQ. Yeah, that it's way too heavy. Now we use the EQ, attenuate some of that, some of that low ends, cut off some of the, the low ends. Now you attenuate the transients, and then we got the the compressor. This compressor does a lot of work. There we go. That's without the compressor on. This is with the compressor. And here the difference that is a big difference but that is what you are aiming for it shouldn't be too heavy but it should still be heard throughout the entire beat you feel me all right let's move on so the rest of the intro we've got brass you are definitely gonna need brass with us because if you know what i said it should sound like an anthem and an anthem always has brass in it so here we go This brass I also got from Nexus. I search brass. So the way you can search Nexus is right click and then you go down to new search. And then yeah, it's how I got brass. And once again, I have no idea where I got this pack from. It's a pack that I downloaded years ago. So yeah, I can even find brass uh, thing here somewhere. Yeah, brass section. You can use that. It's manipulated to your taste. Alright, so the brass. So these are the effects on the brass. I got fruity chorus, fruity parametric EQ, two, and compressor as well. So the fruity chorus I've only used to make it sound wider, so that it's in both ears. And the fruity EQ, parametric EQ is just there to attenuate the low ends because it's just there to make space for the eight away that's coming in later. And 
the um, compressor same thing as the last one you don't want it to sound too loud you don't want it to overpower the other sounds so but you do want it there so yeah that's why i use the compressor basically what the compressor does is it minimizes i'm not sure if that's the right word but it minimizes the dynamic range of an audio signal you can use a compressor to attenuate all the loud stuff and have the soft stuff in the audio signal louder you can like it's like how can i say equalizing the audio signal if that makes sense i'm bad at explaining things this is what it's like without the effects on You know how heavy that sounds in the low end? That's why I've got the EQ on there. This is the brass with the FX on. I love that. Next we have is a gong. <laughs> Tubular bell. I'm gonna call it the gong. This is what it sounds like. So this sound I just got from a pack that I have. Let me see if I can find it. Twenty minutes later. Hip hop, uh, hip hop, hip hop. Oh. There we go. I didn't know you could use that. <laughs> That's mad. Oh, I like that. Well, there's a sound in the Dirty Sprite Drum Kit Volume One, which you can get on instrumentals.com if it is still there. I have no idea, but that's where I got it from. Yeah, so that's where I got the gong from. And the effects that I have on it, parametric EQ and compressor. Yeah, that's what I have on there. That's removing all the transients. It's gonna pierce your ears if it's not removed. And the EQ just didn't work on this, so I just removed. I mean, compressor just didn't work, so I just removed the compressor. I need to explain this too before I play the rest of the intro. Yeah, this is a riser that I got from. Here we go. The Savage Pack. I have no idea where. I, I searched on YouTube for the Savage Pack. That's why. That's why. That's how I have it. Yeah, and this is what it sounds like. And the effects on it, nope, just attenuated by 1.6 decibels. Attenuate means, by the way, to make soft or minus. I, this is what the intro sounds like. Ooh, you must feel vexed. <laughs> I saw you wanted this drop, but yeah. <laughs> Anyway, that's the intro. Now we go on to the let's go on to the hook. So you know that, you know that, you know that now we've got sneer. Simple trap sneer. And I got this from uh yeah, this pack. <laughs> I don't know where I got it from, but yeah, from that pack. <laughs> okay. So I've got this this thing EQ'd and compressed as well. EQ'd with yeah, this is a free EQ by the way. Just search that on Google. I don't know which, what the site is called. Tokyo Dawn Labs there. Look for that on Google if you want this EQ. This is what it sounds like without the effects on. With the effects. So this is just rolling off whatever is below, like below 126 hertz. So that's the snare, the 808. Hmm, let's go on to the hats first. This is the hi hat. Slight reverb on there. Not too simple, not too complicated. That's what you should aim, aim for in with the highest when you or try to make a cheap gift type beat. Not too simple, not too complicated, just in between. Now the effects that I have on that reverb, soft reverb, quick decay, room size is small, 25 size if you must. And yeah, the move some of the low end of the reverb and EQ. Just moving some low end that you don't need. Make more space for the 808 and kick. And I'm not gonna open the, the compressor because yeah, just know that I have a compressor on it. Okay. Now we got the crash. You're gonna need a crash. You will need. You need that. You must have it. This, right here. This is a maybe. That's a maybe. This was, by the way, I stitched this, so that it can match the tempo. This is how it was before. So, and then I stitched it. Yeah, this is how the two sound together. Yeah. Now this, I don't think I have a fix on this one, probably just an E, a compressor. Yeah, it's an EQ and, and, and it's compressed. A roll of the, it's the remove the low end. Yeah, you know what I'm gonna say. Okay, now this, the Kill Bill sound effect. Kill Bill. That right there. Reverb. 
But yeah, let's just talk it even. So I just put it on and I like the sound. I just left it the way that that's for the way it sounds. So yeah. And delay. I played around with it. I've done some ping pong effect on there. That's why it's bouncing, bouncing left to right. So yeah, now that's done. Two things left. It's just this right here. This is just to um, complement the, the strings so that it, it's just there, it's, it's an accent to the bass so that it, the beat doesn't sound dead so that's why that's, that is there, let me show you the effects that I have on it so I've got three decoders once again just to make it sound wider so that it's in both ears EQ, um, moving the low end, make space with the kick and the 808 and I'm attenuating some of the transients and sound good is it to make it sound louder or fuller because it's, it's, it's actually very really soft Ooh, that sounds so clean but yeah and i've got a compressor on it okay now the last thing is this right here i've got an automation clip i got an automation clip right here to give it a kind of underwater feeling i just heard this in a song recently and it just inspired me to do that so that's why that is there and i think it's really cool that is the entire beat so if you did learn anything make sure to subscribe to my channel with notifications on so that you do not miss any of my future uploads i will be uploading episode 3 to my if a studio beginning series sometime in this week or next week so yeah stay tuned for that and look, make sure you look forward to it one thing that i forgot to mention is that you will be able to download this beat for free off of my beat stars account so you will find the link in the description and you can download the beat if you want to and go ahead with it make sure to give this video a like if you did enjoy it and i'll see you in the next episode goodbye